My name is Patricia Dominguez, I'm an artist from Chile, and this is my solo show at Gasworks called Green Irises. So when you enter the exhibition, you're going to encounter this multi-world of objects and paintings and rituals and videos and sound and watercolors that deals with healing practices, ethnobotany, extractions, overworking, uh, neoliberalism, and I think it's, um, it's like a deconstruction of these corporate symbols. Uh, in a in a like a contemporary ritual, fictional ritual. I live in Chile, which is a laboratory of neoliberalism, basically. So it's like indigenous indigenous lands colliding with colonialism, colliding with neoliberalism and industries and extraction in the same space and time. So that syncretism is where we live. We're, it's like this multi-world. All these industries and mining are usually from Europe. So you, you can see like the CEO signing a contract in Europe and then like having like a river moved in Chile, a mountain appeared, you know, like all these extraction of natural um, resources and they are kind of like these new gods. So I've been like researching and kind of seeing this colliding uh, syncretism narratives in the, and in the same like in different ways of using the land. So the starting point from the video is a jarropato, which is a Diaguita pre-Columbian vase, ceramic vase, which cries. And they are very rare in Chile, there are very few of them. So that was my first encounter with indigenous world, which is very complicated and it's a consequence between all these contact zones that happens in Chile. It's like that vase should be like with its original owner in the land, but it's like in a museum. And that's totally incorrect, but that's how Chile um, acts, interacts in a way. So I'm using the lines of the patterns that decorate the jarropato as a metaphor of thinking how these identity patterns have transfers into the stripes of the corporate shirts. Because in the place where the museum is, the Museum of the Seagulls, of, the, of my grandfather, in this place, um, it used to be like indigenous cosmology and now it has transferred into like extraction land full of like power core plants, different minings, you know, so it's like I'm using the crying, the weeping of the bus, the jaropato, and transferring it to a crying drone, you know, this kind of like bioprospective view from the land looking for resources to extract and it's the same line where the jaropato used to be buried. So this kind of like connection between this weeping for the land on that territory. Uh, so I've been researching about healing with roses. It's a specific technique, it's a mestizo ritual. And I'm interested in how these objects, like roses, have, they were brought through colonization and have been absorbed in South America and Central America through different uh, persons in order to heal like, the consequences of that colonization in the body, you know, in the emotions. So this technique is used uh, with roses. It's like it's using only the energetic power of the rose because the rose is the flower that vibrates higher in all the vegetable world, in a way. So they use these roses to like clean up blockages and traumas, uh, to heal the past, to heal the future. It's like different way of like placing the rose, cleaning auras. And I've been using this technique in my own video, but over Chilean um, bodies that I've been, have been subjected to all this kind of like neoliberalism, tiredness, um, cosmic depth that we live in there. So in the video installation, I have two videos. It's a two channel screen um, of scans of my own irises. Because I really wanted to deal with my own position of like dealing with uh, inhabiting the problem in a way of having these colonizer traits in my own DNA. And I was raised by neoliberalism, you know, and that's very problematic and I just wanted to talk about that position too. For the video installation I made totems which are made of share business shirts which are printed, uh, medicinal plants, sacred stones, and all these plants are used to heal uh, corporate pains, for example, irritated eyes, tiredness of eyes, back pain for being sitting in the computer, you're thinking of this idea of like 24 hours working non-stop, but then the body needs to be healed in a way. Because you know, these guys are like sick bodies, tired bodies, which are our gods or our like ritualistic contemporary objects in a way. 
So to accompany the exhibition, uh, we publish a visual essay um, in a form of publication that is a journey, it's like an ethnobotanical journey that I did through Chile, Peru and Bolivia, uh, learning with different healers about this like, medicinal use of plants, but also finding these like, financial temples, which are very weird because, for example, in Cusco I found a Scotia bank that was over in Inca Palace. So you have this collision of time and space in this like, new finance temple. I found many of them. So I talk about them in the publication and all the hidden histories that I found in this journey. For example, all the healing techniques that are like below all this like petrol and mining extraction, they're like below invisible, hidden in a way. So in a way, all those stories from that journey really affected this work. And I felt that it was super important to give that information also as a parallel piece along the work.